Okay, so welcome back again. So today is Maxton Design full split kit front, sides, rear spats, and rear diffuser. Um, I think it's a V3. It's a V3 front splitter with the matching skirts and spats, and then I think it's a a, a V2 rear um, diffuser. So. Uh, I think I'm going to start from the front and work my way back because everything bolts on to the car. Well, you've got to drill, bolt on to the car, round to the back, and then at the back you've got to take the old diffuser, painted diffuser off to put the new black um, Maxton design diffuser on the back. So anyway, let's get the car up in the air, ready to start measuring and fitting the front splitter. I'm not going to film jacking it up and putting on jack stands as I've done a hundred times before so um, when we flip back the car will be up ready to go and then I'll explain how I think I'm going to fit this front splitter so let's go and have a look okay so car's up in the air what I've just done just to sort of help me out a bit is just I've got three gator clamps and I've clamped it to the front of the car here now um, just so I could see how we're going to sort this out and how I'm going to fix it now it was supplied with um, cap bolts and nuts for this now to fix that with these um, the fixings that are supplied you literally have to take the whole under tray off to fix it. I'll show you in a minute with with the old GoPro. Um, now, but right or, rightly or wrongly, I'm gonna just pop rivet these on. I think because there's uh, it's uh, it's a lot of work to take that off, and I'm only ever gonna want to take these off again if I'm gonna be selling the car. And literally, you can just drill them out, and they'll come out anyway. So. Um, they're no different, they'll never come loose, uh, so that's the way I'm going to go. Uh, I might be able to use the bolts on the sides, I haven't checked yet, but I really can't see the point of taking all that under tray off just to put a couple of bolts in when a pop rivet can do the same thing, so that's, that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'll just show you with this what I mean. So under here. So this is, I've just got one clamp here, one clamp in the middle and one back on the other side. So um, if you can see it, you need to screw, well, basically there's a fix in there, one in the middle, one the other end and then all the way up this edge here. So to try and get a fix and a bolt through there, um, you have to take all this off and this off here just to get your hand in there to be able to to do a bolt up um, or a nut up so I'm not going to do that what I am going to do is to put some tape where these figs just to hold it in place and then just to screw a few holes a few pop rivets job done so um, I'm just going to take this off and put some tape on and I'll, sh I'll show you once I've done that right so what I've managed to do here is I've just put some M3 tape around the bits that touch the car, a bit there, there, and up the end here. Now these, um, I'm now going to clamp it back in place, um, there's a little bit of movement there so I should just be able to peel the tape off as I'm sticking it on, it's just going to hold it in place and then once I've got it clamped and where I want it, I can just drill some holes, pop rivet in, job done. Um, yeah, crack on with it, see, see, see where we go from there. Okay, so as you can see, the M3 tape's not really sticking to the car. The car's had a full ceramic coat, so I obviously got under there quite well. Um, I did clean it, obviously, before I tried sticking this on. But um, I've had a problem with gel badges and whatnot in the past, so anyway, I'm just going to put a pop rivet in, in the right place now, um, and get it and that'll hold it and it'll never move it. 
um, I'll have to do that on all areas, I think, rather than trying to get it to hold in place with, this, with the tape. So um, I'll get drill set up and I'll buzz some holes in there and get this side fixed properly. Right, so that's the front splitter on. Um, that ain't going anywhere. That's, that's on there for good. So um, I'm going to just flip over on the side, suss them out, and then I'll sort of explain what I found. So um, let's go and have a look. Right, so side skirts. Obviously, they're different for both sides. The big slot um, is at the back, and there's an arrow down this end which obviously points to the front and when you offer that up under there everything all these notches line out up with the notches that are under the car so and they also supply with these little like self tapping screws um, which would just self tap you shouldn't even need a pilot hole so I've got um, a drill with a, an attachment uh, which accepts these uh, like so so this should take me a matter of 10 minutes, both sides I reckon, to get this, but both sides on, so I'm just going to crack on and get them on. It's got to come off. There's two rivets either side here, you can see, which look to me like they need drilling out. Um, two, oh, well, these are loose already, but so these need taken off. And then, from what I can see, it's just a load of plastic clips in there. Right, so I'm going to just drill this out quickly. Right, so there you go, that's the diffuser off. Uh, once you get one clip off, it comes off easy. So um, I was gonna try and un tag them from sort of underneath, but once you can get your, your pry tool underneath and just sort of gently, gently as you go, um, no damage, job's a good one. So they're gonna offer up the next, uh, the, the um, diffuser and see how it fits and then suss out how it works. And then um, I'll explain how I'm gonna fix it.
Right, okay, so rear diffusers on. I'll give you a full run round once we're finished completely. Um, that was a bit of a well, you just got to persevere with it. Um, and there's the clips are uh, they go into the OEM clips, but of <laughs> what I've had to do on this corner, which you can't, I didn't film it, it was just a faff. The clips weren't holding in. Um, I've, been, I've seen loads of comments before about people having issues with the diffusers, people have tried to glue them, stick them. Um, what I managed to do, you can get your hand up the back here. I've wedged two self tapping screws in these two clips here um, from the inside. You can't see them, um, but that's held that lovely now. So I'll give it a whirl for the next sort of few weeks, see what happens if it sort of... Um, start popping out, out elsewhere I could probably do the same thing around the, the rest of it but the rest of them all clipped in nicely apart from these two whether us I don't know anyway is what it is um, so I just need to fit these uh, I'm gonna clamp them up two screws should hold these job done so um, let's crack on with this Alright, there you go. This took a fair bit of time just because of the filming as well and I think you could have rushed it and got it on but not as sort of as good as you could if you really wanted to but I took my time and I've got it sort of as good as I can really and it looks fine. Rear diffuser was the worst bit, not it was it, it's just the, the fitting and getting the clips. The clips are not the same as the OEM one as such so the, uh, the 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 clips that clip in are just flat and the the holder on the bumper doesn't grip them so most of them sort of clipped in and stayed in but there's a couple on the end which just kept sliding out and there was a gap and I think a few people could have put up with it but I obviously couldn't so I managed to wedge some self tappers in from the clips at the top it's very hard to show yeah, but if anyone's interested in seeing that, I might be able to get a few more close-ups, just let me know. But uh, I think next thing for me now is probably um, I want to get some wheels. Don't know what ones yet. 
and um, there's not a lot else I really want to do. I will do a, a sort of a, a run, a run around as such, this sort of giving you a lowdown of exactly how it feels now, sort of where I want it to be, uh, see how things turn out with everything else. So um, anyway, hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.